Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mr. Right Way, and guess who I got again? Boom, my buddy John Hancock. Man, what is up with you? Doing great. Feeling a lot better. Uh, I was a little bit sick this last week. Okay. Recovered. What wasn't COVID? Um, okay, that's good. Had, had had the stomach bug, and uh, yeah, I just was down and out. So, uh, you know what really helped me get feeling better was uh, playing some video games. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, the CDC recommends it, don't it? <laughs> Play video games, you feel better, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I was playing everything from Pac-Man to Call of Duty Warzone. And so uh, kind of a big spread there, but uh, just really just uh, even my new Star Wars arcade back there, uh, I've been playing that. It's been a lot of fun. Hey, how do you enjoy that Star Wars arcade? Oh, it's great. It's great. And uh, more importantly, my kids are enjoying playing it too. So it's something that my kids can come in. You know, my kids, when they come in my game room, they just look at a bunch of box stuff. And so it's <laughs> nice that they can come in and just turn on a machine and play it. It's right at their height, perfect, perfect height for them. And uh, this is, these are great for, for, for families. And so just to share, share your love of games with, yeah. with your family. That's really nice. My, uh, my son, he go back there, he playing my uh, Nintendo Switch kiosk. Mm. And we, so I, we had to get another um, pro controller. This is mine. You see how uh, awesome. beat up, it's beat up it is, but uh, we've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing now. So we got two copies of Animal Crossing in the house, one for me and one for my uh, fiance and her sons. And so we both all be playing Animal Crossing and stuff. So I'm in here, I go to the island up in the, in the living room. It's just, it's pretty fun, man. All right, so we're talking PlayStation, huh? Yeah, we're talking PlayStation. So this, what we're going to do today is talking about PlayStation long box collecting. Now, the reason I got John Hancock on, he is the master of collecting almost everything. This guy's been collecting long as we all been alive here. <laughs> He's been collecting, like, what you say, about 30 plus years? Yeah, about, I would say 30 years. You know, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm 44, so I really started collecting when I was a teenager, and I used to go to flea marts and I'd have 20 bucks to my name. Wow. And I would, I would walk away with something. Yeah, you something. Know, it's, it's definitely, you know, it's not, it's not those days anymore, but, but really I'm here to, I'm here to talk with you about PlayStation. PlayStation collecting is on the rise. It is, man. And, and a lot of people, that's what they grew up with, mm -hmm. you know, classics, you know, Resident Evil, Metal Gear Solid, Final Fantasy seven, you know, those, those iconic franchises that really made a name for themselves on PlayStation. And so, uh, you know, I'm going to show, this is just a, a very popular long box right now. And so this is a, th these long boxes are the first releases on PlayStation and people yes, want is. these. And so this is a great shooter and it's the Raiden project project. And it's actually two, two arcade games in one. And this is a great version of it. And this, this is going for a bit of money. Now. Did you turn your TV sideways? <laughs> I think it's got uh, tape mode on it. I'm not – I haven't played it in a while. I'm pretty sure, though, it's got that option. Yeah, and I was saying, man, like, the long box is so popular, man. And, you know, for people who don't know, it is three versions. We'll call this version right here, like, I guess the cardboard type. Yeah, that's a nice then, shape. Wow, oh, yeah, crazy. man. And also, too, I, I, I did something in a thought of you, man. I did not take the uh, price off of it. Even though I can get it off there pretty easy, I'm it's not going to okay. take it off. It's okay to take a aftermarket game store price sticker off it, but mm -hmm. if it's an original sticker of a rental store with an address, so if it was a rental, then I would keep it on. So it's okay to take that price sticker off. And also, this was a, used to be a display case. Oh, nice. So that's why I've really that's not cool. Yeah, that's so that, cool that you keep that. Yeah, I'm keep that on there because it's it is nice. Um, the other one that we talked about in your last video that's super hard to find, uh, this right here, but you see the ridges on it. So it combines the one you just showed and yep. it combines these two. And yep. I guess they are foreign vulture. So <laughs> that's right. And, <laughs> and then, the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like what I, what I like about, I think this is my favorite because they're easy to replace and they see if they're just like the uh, Sega Saturn versions, you know, they're the yeah, same they're, thing, yep. same. But only thing that gets me with these PlayStation did some kind of weird printing. If you look, see how that is. So you have to really just, it's weird. Yeah. I don't know why they print it that way. It just, it's like they print it in a, in a Japanese way. You know, Japanese read from like, uh, from left to right. I mean, I mean. Right yeah, to left. Right to yeah. left. Yes, right to left. We, left, we read left to right. So yes. it, it seemed like that's how the printing was, you know. I don't, I don't, it was just weird, man. It is weird. But yeah, you, it's, 
it's nuts. It's nuts how every company had their own packaging. And, and I think part of the reason, you know, the CDs were in those long cases, remember, when they first came out? Yeah. I think part of this was uh, to, to take up more shelf space at a store. You think and, so? Yeah, I think so. I think mm -hmm. so. And, you know, that I think that I, I wonder, I'm not sure, but I wonder, uh, Sega CD, Saturn, and, and, and PlayStation all use the same cases. I wonder... I wonder if there was a deal with the company that worked that out working with, with those companies. Yeah, and so, man. you know, but it's nuts. But replacing these is terrible. Uh, oh. It is expensive. It's about what, it's about 10 bucks a case. There are replacement cases out there. Yeah. I try to stay original, but um, you know, mine's got a couple cracks here, but, but it, but uh, I know you can get replacement cases out there on, on uh, I, I don't know if they're available currently, but they, they were in the last year or so, you know, with supplies these days, uh, everything's really scarce. Yeah. I got some off Amazon. I think they were shipping like 10 for like, uh, no, it was like, I think it was 10 for like $60 or okay, so it was a little something like that. It was a little less. I, I know it was like about $6 a case. So I know I get like a pack of seven or 10. I can't remember, but it was on Amazon and I was going through uh, my uh, Saturn stage and I just like blew through this, a lot of those, man, and replacing those. Yeah. But uh, also too, I want to ask you, man, about the PlayStation, you know, uh, sports games, man, like yes. impossible to find sports games. We talked about on the channel last time by finding a variant of this right here, PGA oh, Tour really 96. Crazy. It's really difficult, yes. But another one I just like found is another one, uh, Skull Monkeys. And it has, you know, it has like a 3D. Um, the little, reflective, yeah. Yeah, it's a little 3D thing stuff finding in. And I also think about sports games that you're trying to replace. Or like, say this right here. I got this for fifty cent, but uh, the new uh, Showtime on NBC. Yep. But the stickers, trying to replace those yep. stickers, man, impossible. are really impossible. And I'm trying to find one. Um, I'm trying to find an extra sticker so I can replace the whole case because I just got uh, NBA um, NBA Live '96, and that one is super rare and super hard to find. But it, it's the case is all beat up and dusty and stuff. So I'm trying to see how to replace that. You know. Those are a real challenge. Uh, you know, another way too, and this this happened back in the day when, uh, you know, you were able to go out to more yard sales. But if you can find, sometimes you'll find uh, a lot of all the same. You know, whether it's uh, like a religious music CDs, mm -hmm. or or you can find cases in weird places at yard sales. Sometimes you know something won't sell, and you'll find a bunch of uh, whether it's a jewel case of of something. It could be a, a PC games. It could be, uh, you know, religious music or, or otherwise. You can use those cases to replace your PlayStation uh, uh, cases, and they look really nice. And so I've done that with uh, some of mine. I try to keep mostly original, mm -hmm. but there's a, there's a couple that are just, you know, they're, they're brown. They're scratched. Oh, man. They crack. They crack, they yeah. Just, just they don't – I mean, it's not even worth keeping it in that condition. Then I'll re use a replacement a case to replace that because it's just, it's just not worth keeping. So give me some of your memories of PlayStation Man collecting, you know. Oh, this. I, I have several. Um, I went up and down the West Coast collecting my, my PlayStation collection. Mm -hmm. And what I found was there was a lot of rental stores when they went out of business during the Blockbuster era – you know, and they would sell long box stuff. In fact, you know, one of these stores, uh, you know, had, had this. And so uh, a lot of these, a lot of these games were rented, were rentals yeah. and, you know, people would rent them and they, they, they had some decent wear on them. But when those game stores or rental stores went out of business, that's, that's when I, I scooped in and was able to pick up games for a fraction of the cost. And so, you know, uh, playing wise, Twisted Metal 2, uh, Tekken 3, Wipeout XL, yes. uh, Final Fantasy 7, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the original Resident Evil, um, you know, like I said, the Raiden Project. These were the games that I played a ton back in the day. And these are the games that people are going back to. You know, PlayStation's uh, franchises are numerous. Yes. You know, we got a new PS5 coming out, but there's a lot of people out there that just want to go back to uh, a, a more simple time. Yes, sir. Playing those awesome uh, franchises. What are some and, of yours? Man, I remember my first time renting a PlayStation. Um, I heard about it. Uh, I already had my money down. 
and uh, I couldn't go get it until like three weeks because I had got in trouble. Well, I ain't getting in trouble, but um, what happened? It was something like, I can't remember. I know I, it was taking three weeks to get it because I was going to pick it up at uh, KB Toy Stores. Okay. Uh, it was KB or KB or, or Toy Stores, one of the two. Okay. But anyway, I do remember the day I rented it. And I went to Blockbuster Video oh. and it had a big case and they issued you rent a system and they use you rent a system and like two games. I got Battle Rain Toshina and uh, Jumping Flash and something else. Uh, but I mean, it was like nineteen dollars, okay. and nineteen dollars back then was like a lot, <laughs> you know. And then you got the oh, big yeah. old case, and then you had the perfect PlayStation. I when I powered it up, and it like you know the that PlayStation uh, sound, I go like oh, oh, that intro. Oh, it yeah. was just it was like, and then the first time you playing Battle Royale Toshina, yep. and you could do that little three D move going around. I was like, and you could not focus on the. I was like, this is the best fighting game in the world, you know. Well, it's funny you bring that up because that was actually the very first game I saw in stores at a kiosk. I wow. remember walking by a KB toy store mm -hmm. and seeing Battle Arena Toshiden and backing up and saying, oh, my goodness, that's awesome. What's yeah. this? And, you know, at the time when PlayStation came out, I did. I was a college student. Uh, I was not collecting as much games. I had, I had a small collection, but, it, you know, I, I my focus was school and dating. <laughs> and, to be honest. and so, yeah. and so I did buy a secondhand PlayStation it was the first PlayStation I bought. And it was one of those where you had to turn it upside down because the lens read, have you ever heard that issue? Yeah, I heard about the issue. So mine had the lens issue. So you had to turn it upside down to make it work better. Mm -hmm. um, and it actually PlayStation was the very first uh, um, console in which I called in sick, but really I was playing video games. <laughs> Gran Turismo. That's awesome. I was working at Winco back in the day. And I, and, and I, and I got hooked, man, playing, playing those, uh, marathon, you know, 200 laps or so on Gran Turismo just blew my mind. That, that game blew my mind. It was fantastic. Okay, so we're about to get ready to close, but I want to ask you, um, what was your favorite PlayStation model? I really do like the fact that PlayStation, you could play your PlayStation one games on your PlayStation three. Oh, and yeah. I just got this PlayStation three and I, <laughs> I never wanted to get this PlayStation 3 model. I hate this model because it just, I don't know. But as you can yeah. see how dirty and dusty this thing is, I got this from uh, Punch, not Punch, I got this at a yard sale this morning for uh, for uh, 10 bucks. It came with this wow. and uh, a wow. power cord. Yeah, and a power cord. And I just asked the girl, I said, hey, oh, here's a tip for you guys. And when you go on garage sale, honey, you don't see no games out. Say, hey, okay, do you have any games in the house you want to get rid of? And they're like, oh, yeah, I do. I got a PlayStation. So I'm like, a PlayStation 3. And I was like, all right, I'm hoping for a PlayStation Fat, right? 60 gig, you know, backwards compatible. Then she came out with this. I'm like, eh. I said, how much you want for it? She said, 10. I said, I'll take it. <laughs> so I just zelled her money real quick. And, you know, I'm going to clean this bad boy up. Yep. Uh, I might use this for a, tr a trade or sell this one. So I still yeah. have my 20 gig. So my PS3, I never, I never upgraded from my original PlayStation 20 gig that I paid way too much for. I gained six hundred some dollars, right? Five, well, five hundred when it, uh, I bought it a year after it came out, and okay. it was still five hundred bucks. Oh my god! But getting an original PlayStation 3 sealed, go on eBay, do mm -hmm. crazy prices. Oh, I know, for, man. For a complete, like a, a mint in, in box, uh, original PlayStation 3, an original model, 20 gig or a 60 gig stupid prices right now it came with tyler giga nights right yeah yep okay. uh yes i'm pretty sure yeah, yeah like yeah, if it ain't first you last shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. <laughs> yes sir i like that <laughs> so yeah man well um, tell me what was your out of all the playstations you know models one through now four okay what was your favorite model my favorite model was a ps2 slim okay and part of that was the story of how i got it Okay. Um, GameStop was doing a sale. You bring in your original PlayStation and 10 games, and then you could get a PS2. What? Uh, it wasn't a, no, original, sorry, original PS2 and 10 games. Okay, okay. You could get a PS2 Slim. Wow. And back in the day, they didn't care if it was a sports title. Okay. So what I waited is I waited <laughs> for sports games to go on sale, and then they were like a dollar or two, and then I just traded 10 of those games in with a PS2 Fat, 
and got my PS2 slim, but I, I had that and it lasted a long time. I, finally, this last year, it started giving me issues, but mm -hmm. you know, that's a long time, you know, PS2 uh, slim came out, you know, uh, you know, what, mid 2000s. So it lasted almost 15 years. So what color? Black. Just black, black original, orig the first release. In fact, mm -hmm. so the first release of the PS2 Slim had the original phone line jack in the back and, and a cable modem. It had both. And so oh. on revisions, they took out, they took that out. But um, it was one of my favorite just because I was playing so much PlayStation 2 in the mid 2000s. I absolutely loved everything that was coming out on PlayStation 2. I could play all my PlayStation 1 games with the memory card. I, I mean, that, that would, to me, was the golden time of PlayStation. Now, they still were awesome, but, you know, it wasn't complicated. You know, there was a lot of used games, and it was just – it seemed like PlayStation just did everything. They had maybe not the best of every category, but they had five or six games that were just awesome, you know, wrestling, racing, sports, football, fighting, RPGs. You mm -hmm. name it, you played it on PlayStation, and it, it covered the bases. I really do think, man, that the PlayStation 2 library will go down in history as one of the greatest libraries ever since the Super Nintendo. I yeah. really do think that. Yeah. yeah, I got a friend with a complete uh, complete set. It's nuts. I mean, it I, was about twelve hundred games. A lot. I think it's. I think so. I think it's a little bit more than that. I, you're probably right. I, I don't know, but he showed me a picture of his collection. Oh, and it's in his entire walls, just decked out, spined out PS2 games. Oh my goodness! So, yeah. well, well, I would tell you my PlayStation, my favorite PlayStation model of all time, and I don't have it. It is the 20th anniversary PlayStation 4. I am so mad at myself because at the time I was dating this girl, and she really wanted to go out. And I'm like, just, I'm waiting on this. I'm waiting. I'm waiting by the phone. I'm waiting by the computer. I had my money in the PayPal. I was ready. I was ready to hit it. And that day, they did not go on sale for some reason. They went on sale, but then as soon as I left, two hours later, it went on sale, and I was in an area where they have no cell phone service, and I was trying to get it. And I finally got in my cart, and as soon as I pushed uh, uh, checkout, it said, it's, it, I am out of stock. Oh. oh, I never screamed so loud in my life. <laughs> I was like, I cannot believe I missed that PlayStation. So well, the good the good news is is that PlayStation is going to be around a long time. They got yep. another anniversary. They'll do something else retro. Uh, well, get, I want, yeah, I want that one, John. But see, I see, it, 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 it was in the original colors. It was a PlayStation Four. It yep. was not. I got the controller, but I don't have nothing else now. Even I, I got the uh, the the five hundred million PlayStation. The, the oh, Tesla nice. Yeah. I have that one, and that's number. That's Excellent. That's a PlayStation 4 Pro, but I still want that PlayStation yeah. 4. So I get it one day, but I just can't believe, man, I missed it. So you'll get it. You'll get it. You but know, man, if, you, if, you if you focus on it, there's oh, no yeah. of mine. You'll get it. <laughs> but I, I guess I could trade a, uh, uh, I guess if I get it, I just take one of my Neo Geo games and trade it for it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. man, hey, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Um, Pleasure. You know, we can both we can talk to the cows come home, as they say. But, uh, man, let everybody know where they can find you, which they already probably know how to find you. But if somebody's new to this channel and don't know me or don't know you, uh, please give them some information. Yeah, just, uh, look, just type John Hancock, and so you'll see my, my picture, and, and that's my channel. And uh, I'm sure Lee, uh, Steve will you'll have a link below. Yes. And that's how you can find me on YouTube. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. We also got a collector's group. Um, and so you can go to my channel to find all the other places where you can find me. So thank you so much. All right. Thank you. And everybody, thank you for, so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out. Take care.